Have you ever felt the need for a sweet treat or you forgot to make a dessert for a party that afternoon? Bakken's Bakery has a simple solution. We focus on speed and precision and we bake anything between brownies and tiramisu. I, Grace Bakken, will be the, the owner and the sole employee of Bakken's Bakery until I need more employees. Here, I have a business card for each of you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, the best time to contact me would be after school because, of course, I am still attending school. So by phone, that is. Otherwise, you can email me at any time. As I said, Ipswich is where my bakery is located, in my home. And we go by, you name it, we bake it. So like, if you have an idea, we'll try to do our best to communicate with the customer. Um, all ages are welcome. And of course, as any other bakery, you need to tell me your allergies. That way, if you have nut allergies, I don't use um, products that are made in a nut factory and such. Also, there are also gluten-free and sugar-free options. Um, I go with a three-hour over. So like, if you order it at 3.30, like when I get out of school, I could have it to you by 6.30 if you need it that night. But if you need a bigger, um, it's a bigger party, I need a um, lo longer time. Um, we also have catering and delivery, so there are always smaller things in stock. So, like you can always stop in and get a cupcake if you want, or some cookies. So it's like any other bakery; you don't always have to place an order. Um, busyness of the business. So, like if I have a lot of orders right now, that will delay it. So, like if you call the day of, I will assure to get yours in. But again, it has to, I have to be flexible. And then my catering, it must allow five business days because, again, that will take longer than a batch of cookies would. In Ipswich, it's very needed for a bakery. There's only one other homestyle bakery in Ipswich, but that's like 15 miles away. So um, right now, we don't have any way to order other than by phone and email or in person. But we do have ads in the newspapers here in Aberdeen and in Ipswich. And we also have party discounts. So like, if you have a big meeting, you're not paying a whole, it's not going to break the bank. As for my expansion plans, we plan to do online orders through mobile apps because apps on phones are a big thing right now. So you can see Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook as located. I also want a magazine so like I can hand it to my clients and they can see what we have. Um, and additional bakeries. And you might ask where I'm going to put these bakeries, but my goal is to put them in other small towns because like South Dakota, we are a state made of little towns and not a lot of older people want to drive when it's cold outside to go to a bigger town to get baked goods. Um, there are large corporations here in Aberdeen like Ken's and Kessler's that do make cupcakes and cakes and whatnot but again who wants to drive and are they willing to make like creative desserts that you want like cake pops are huge right now I don't know that Kessler's makes cake pops. Um, our strengths, we're easily affordable, we have an excellent catering and deli delivery, and we're, we have speed and willingness. We will always guarantee excellent customer service and a product that you will enjoy. <coughs> as for management and operation, I said I am the only employee as of right now. Once my business starts taking off, I will need more employees to help me out. But as of right now, I can handle f between five to ten orders, roughly a week. Um, there will be customer meetings, so if it's over the phone, it's over the phone, but I'd like to t talk to my clients so they know, like, when they're ordering what I have in mind and what they have in mind so that there's no miscommunication at all. Bookkeeping is kept year-round, so there's no errors, and I will need general baking supplies and office supplies because it's kind of hard to bake without a cookie sheet. As for my cost, I estimated that I will make about 18 to $35 because I am selling individual cupcakes at $3 a piece because it costs about two bucks to make them. So half a dozen will be 18. So what will impact my price? Of course, ingredients, time spent, and if I have to deliver them and such. But again, this will be discussed with the customer so they will not be like surprised when their bill comes to them. I have $15,000 from savings and on my next one with my cost, I also took out a $15,000 bank loan. This way I am covered within, like, if my business does not take off the way I want it to, I'm covered within that first three months. So I won't have any surprises and whatnot. 
Here are my startup expenses. As you can see, I listed all of the things that I will need to put into my home to make this business run. Um, those are all very good prices because those are like the best that are out there right now. Um, and then you can see how I got my total and my savings and bank loan. Here's my monthly budget. So I have all of my expenses laid out and some of them I overestimated that way like if I had to go, if I have more deliveries in one week than another I know that I'm covered for gas and such. I also have miscellaneous uh, spot just so that if anything were to come up within my business I am covered and I don't have any like surprises at the end of the month when I'm trying to pay bills. Do you have any questions for me? Can you back up to your last slide? Yes. Um, do you have any interest expense in there? You have a $15,000 loan. Yeah, um, I probably have that in my miscellaneous more of a Kay. area because that yeah. So you're gonna do the baking out of your home, is that it? Yes, it's so out of my home. Okay, so are, are there state laws that impact, you know, like I'm thinking about rules at restaurants and you know, those that yes. produce food, what, what kind of rules do you I'm have? allowed to bake out of my home with a normal conventional oven and kitchen as long as I do not put it into another store. So like if there is like a small bouquet, uh, store in Ipswich say I cannot sell my baked goods there because I do not have a like a restaurant type okay. kitchen. Very impressive that you knew that. Mm. Yep. So okay. Tell me, oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> tell me some of your specialized because I agree you go to the Kessler's and you can get your basic cookies and your basic brownies and that sort of thing so you you said the cupcake the cake balls, pops. The cake pops. What, what else? Kind of, and I heard you mention tiramisu. I'll um, take some. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I don't know if you can get like a cheesecake at Kessler's. Possibly. I don't know. I don't buy baked yeah. goods at Kessler's. <laughs> um, but um, I don't know. It's all up to the customer mainly. So like if you come in and like I have this strawberry pretzel dessert. that's like pretzels on the bottom and like a strawberry jello. I know that can't be found anywhere. Um, Stuff like that. So, like, not necessarily that the customer themselves couldn't make, but they might not have the time mm -hmm. to. Because, gotcha. like, if you're it's at 2 o'clock and you forgot and you have a busy schedule after work, I would make it and then you just pick it up and go to your event or party. Are that you actually thing. doing some of this now? You're yes, I do you bake. Are, you do, okay. Yes. yes and so. Are you selling it, too? As of right now, no. No, okay. Yep. So, you've uh, got costs very well. I mean, you've, you've got them documented and, and pretty accurate, so exactly what it's and it sounds like you even have it down to like per cupcake and per cake and per so that's that's good um <clears throat> one of your other slides which by the way i thought uh, you did a very nice job on your budgeting and your expenses and all of that but i'm curious where are you going to put your double oven and your refrigerator and your freezer and well right now i have garage space for my um fridge and freezer because right now we have a fridge and freezer out there okay. so I would just be replacing like Is my boot mom and dad's out well they they have they have basement space for it, Got it. so ah. my stuff would be into the garage okay. but my double oven would take um, place of the oven we have okay. because right now our oven is like um, the door doesn't stay shut all the way it's time for new one so yeah, yeah so I wouldn't be hurting mom if I replaced so her oven mom would help pay for <laughs> probably so are you thinking about going on to like pastry no, I just really enjoy baking. Okay. It's just something I enjoy doing. Grace, if and when you do your presentation again, it's very well done, by the way. Bring along an apron or wear an apron to okay. I don't know, bring I was going to say bring 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 the only thing I would say is analyze your pricing on your cupcakes. When I hear $18 for a half dozen cupcakes, and I think a small town, I think a lot of these old Norwegian German people that are going to recoil at paying 18 bucks for six cupcakes. So and if you never made them, you would charge $5. Absolutely. <laughs> right, right. So I'm just, I'm just thinking that through on your cost analysis. You said it cost two dollars to make a cupcake. Yeah, you're talking fancy filled. Yeah, yeah. You, you you must have a lot of labor because a general, you know, Duncan Hines cupcake isn't going to cost you two bucks to make, obviously. But okay, just thinking as far as some of the pricing strategies. But otherwise, I agree with what Paul said. I thought you uh, you had very well researched your topic and it seems like this is a 
as what do they say at Obama say shovel ready it's like you're ready to go yep okay the very start of your PowerPoint and the tail end of your PowerPoints, the yeah. graphics were real nice. In the middle where you just had a lot of narrative yep. going on, yeah. you could get, keep that a little more succinct, maybe a few more pictures and stuff okay. to make it more interesting. Okay. All right. Thank you. Nice job.